Hello everybody, this is Frankie Day, back again on YouTube. Okay gang, this evening YouTube, I have my first update on my Frankie Day historic aircraft group build featuring my Lindbergh Winnie Bay. Okay guys, uh, so far on the update, I went ahead and, uh, first I went ahead and uh, the fuselage and the control services, firewall and the cowing ring, off the sprues, cleaned them up real well, primed them with the exception of the exterior parts and painted them. I went ahead folks right here and uh, assembled Wiley Post and the kit gives you a, a grotesque fi a figure and it's uh, I highly uh, recommend taking that figure and throwing it away or <laughs> throw it in the spare parts box so I just went and threw it back in the spare parts box in case someday I can use it for something. So I went and swapped pilots out. So this one here is a lot more detailed than the uh, than the one I gave you in the kit. And of course, you can see that, that the cockpit detail we gave the kit is very is very less and very sparse and left to the desire. But I'm building this out of the box, so there's not going to be no special stuff done to it. It's going to be nothing but a plain old out of the box Lindbergh Winnie May kit. Uh, this is the first time I tackled this kit, guys, in many, many years. Many, many years. I'm glad that I'm very pleased that Lindbergh is bringing out these old, these old school kits out because I can go back and reflect on a lot of memories. Uh, but during boyhood, boyhood, and I used to build these all the time. <coughs> okay, that completes uh, the cockpit uh, detail on there. There's nothing more, folks, than just the cockpit before it comes to the kit, the joystick, and they give you the control, uh, the dial facing right there with the instrument panel. I went ahead with the instrument panel, went ahead and painted the black right there and picked, picked out the dial facing with white, and uh, that'd be out. Before I button up the fuselage, I got to place the uh, acetate uh, observation windows in there for the fuselage is buttoned up. I went ahead and picked the firewall. The engine comprised of nothing more than a firewall. And uh, so I went ahead and primed the whole firewall right there at the primer jar. I went ahead and painted the cylinder heads all black and dry brushed all the push rods and all the cylinder rings uh, with, with dry brush with aluminum. And I painted the governor, governor ring gray. And uh, the reason why I have the, the tail feathers out because before you button up the fuselage, a lot of you probably ran around stuff like this. This here goes here first. This has got to go in here first, folks, before you button up the fuselage. That way you can glue on your horizontal uh, elevators. That way you can be able to uh, get your tail feathers done and your fuselage done as you close it up. Well, guys, hey, very much parts of kit. This is going to be a fast build, I kid you not. I should have this thing done in about a week. So, uh, probably, um, by the Thursday, I'll have a video, another video of this out. Probably be the closure of the fuselage, add the undercarriage on there, and all the sub assemblies be done before you close up the whole assembly and go ahead and prime and paint and finish. <clears throat> so, probably by Thursday, I'll have another video of this. Tomorrow, I'll have a video of my uh, Martin P6N Seamaster, my second entry for Rad Z76 and uh, Chancellor's North Wales Flying Boat Group Build. I'll have those. I have that tomorrow. It'll be at the final paint schedule. It'll be done on it. It'll be all sea blue, with white on the bottom. The decals and also the window maskings will be done later on, as uh, as I finish up the build. And uh, right after that, I'll go ahead and continue on on uh, Cyber Panzer's German bomber group build, featuring my Ravel 132nd scale Junkers 88. I'll have that coming up. I should have a video of that probably coming up probably uh, by, by this Wednesday. And tomorrow I'll have a video of my Seamaster, so stay tuned for those two videos, folks. And I'd like to thank everybody again from the bottom of my heart for uh, for your wonderful uh, replies on my C-47 uh, Skytrain, done for Russell Gosling's the DD group build with expired. Incidentally, each one of you guys fellas is very hard, great work, and to be honored. And uh, for the special group build, and I'm quite sure that our Russell Gosling will, will prove very immensely and be very proud and happy when he sees the final results. Mike Cohen has uh, made the complete slideshow of it, so be sure to see that guys and give him a good, a good hearty uh, 
thank you for all the hard work that Mike Cohen has put in to make that video possible for all the people who's uh, participated in this wonderful group build. And uh, the work I have seen is uh, museum quality, first class all the way. You don't get any better. Uh, you all guys are the greatest bunch of builders in the world. And I'm glad to be associated with each one of you. I love you guys very much. You guys are great guys. Okay, boys, it's time for Frankie Day to get off here right now. Get this video and love uploaded. It's time to be hit the point sack. Like to attack this thing tomorrow with some fresh eyes and get my sea master shaken up. So I'd like to thank everybody again one more time for tuning in and make God bless and happy modeling. We'll catch you on the next video, boys. You all be, be careful. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you then. Bye, boys. <laughs>